You're using it for counseling. Uh, these things even have a very, very good hearing loss simulator in them. In other words, you can, if you have a family member there, and you usually like to have a family member present, um, then you can show the family member just what, demonstrate to them just what a hearing loss sounds like. George is the patient, and his daughter is there. And um, George says, I don't need a hearing aid. I'm not deaf. You people are all mumbling. Speak up. Speak clearly. Right. He says that. I am speaking up and speaking clearly, but he says that all the time. He says he doesn't need a hearing aid. He's not deaf. Well, you're right. He's not. But, and if the English language were all vowel sounds, he wouldn't need a hearing aid. Because he hears fine in the low frequencies. But what he misses are the high frequencies. He misses the consonant sounds. He hears ooh, ah, e. He doesn't even hear you when you say shh, 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 at all. Uh, and so he hears speech with those components missing, the consonant sounds missing. And here's exactly what it sounds like. And then you play a conversation that's all normal at any level that you want, just so everybody hears it and they understand it. Say, okay, now here's how George, your father, hears it. You push a button to simulate the hearing loss, and it's like, oh, they are mumbling now. No wonder he says people mumble. And that he can hear, but he can't understand. Now I get it, because I'm actually walking in his shoes, listening with his ears. You know, very powerful tool. And once you make the son, the daughter, the wife, whoever is the significant other in that person's life, when you make them advocates. Now listen, you're going to listen to Dr. Susan now. And you're going to do what she tells you. And she says you need this, then you need it. Don't tell me that people are mumbling, it's your ears. <laughs> okay.